and the train really comes by right now. Okay, what's up y'all? My name is Jess. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my car. None of y'all have been here before, but we're going on a little bit of an adventure today and I wanted to bring y'all along. Before starting the adventure though, there is a little bit of context for this. I was doing live reading sprints with Mare from Mare Reads the other week or so and a few of my friends noticed that I still have my Christmas tree up in the background and they made a joke saying that I should do a Christmas in February vlog and jokes on them because I am nothing if not a people pleaser. So to Nicole and Katie, here is my Christmas in February vlog. Right now it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to go to my local used bookstore and I'm gonna do a little bit of browsing. I do actually have a goal in mind. I was talking to Rachel from Shipwrecked Library uh, a few days ago and we were talking about cover changes that we didn't like and she mentioned the Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and how it's almost impossible to find the third book in the original cover and what kind of friend would I be if I didn't check my local used bookstore to see if I could maybe find it? So that's what I'm gonna do. Is it maybe an excuse to just go to the bookstore and maybe buy myself some books? A little bit, but that's not the main reason. I'm gonna try to find this book for her. And if I can't find it, I'm sorry, Rachel, I tried. And I'm gonna have the proof that I tried. That's what we're gonna do. And then after that, we'll see. Oh, also, I'm not gonna talk in the bookstore because that's next level awkward. I'm not there yet in my vlogging journey. We're not here for that right now. Let's go. All right, y'all, we are back. I'm sorry that I didn't get more clips. I had hoped to get more clips while I was in the bookstore, but it turns out that there are a lot more people there than I expected to see at 10 a.m. on a Thursday. So, whatever. I'm sad to say that I couldn't find the third book in the Bone Season series. I really, really tried. The thing about my used bookstore is that it is a treasure trove. There are so many good finds in there, so many cheap books. I have never walked into that bookstore and not come out of it with something in my hands. Granted, I've only been there twice because I'm not stupid and I'm trying to save money. That being said, that bookstore, I can't I can't figure out the organizational system. I can't fathom it. If you walk in there looking for something really specific, good luck. Good luck trying to figure out where it is. So when I walked in, I knew that there were three possible sections where the Bone Season would be. Adult sci-fi, adult fantasy, or the teen section. Which, mind you, the teen section is a perfect example of how messed up the organizational system in this store is because you have three sections. You got children's, you got young adult, and you have teens. Children is exactly what it should be. It's children's books. Young adult is the middle grade books. And then teen is where the YA books are. I can't explain to you the feelings that I had when I figured that out. The books are a little difficult to figure out. And I, y'all, I tried to find this book. I looked at every single book in the S section of adult sci-fi and adult fantasy. I scoured the shelves in the teen section. I couldn't find it, but I did find the bone season in the middle grade section, which I really don't think is where it belongs. I mean, I know I haven't read this book before, but I think it's fair to say that it's not for children. Why was it there? And it wasn't just one copy. There were two copies of this there. So I think that's really just where they put the books. I can't tell. I did not intend to buy this book. I don't even think it's on my want to read on Goodreads. I don't really know. I've heard of it before, but I mostly just bought it because if, if Rachel likes it, then I'm sure it's great. So why not? Especially since this hardcover copy was $4.80. And on to a mini book haul. Little disclaimer, there were so many books that I wanted to buy in this bookstore, but I'm really stingy with the money that I spend on my books, especially now that I have a library app and I can just try to get the books for free. So how I determine if I'm gonna buy a book is I compare the price that they're asking me for to how reasonably confident I am that I'm going to like it. I looked at the Wheel of Time books and I considered getting the first book, but I think it was, I don't know, five, 
seven dollars or something like that for the first book and i'm not five to seven dollars confident that i'm going to like the wheel of time so we're not doing that first book that i got was the chronicles of crestomancy volume one i actually have either volume two or volume three i'm really not sure but i have one of the later volumes the younger me had a track record of buying books later in the series and not realizing it and then not reading the series because i have book two instead of book one. I had attempted to read the later volume that I had before realizing that it was in the first one. I think there's potential for me to enjoy it, so I promised myself that at one point I was gonna try to read the first book in the series, see if I like it, and I found the first book in the series, so I'm excited, and it was only 35 cents, so worth it. The next book that I got was The Adoration of Jenna Fox. While I was reading the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series for my first Purge video, I saw a review that compared it heavily to the adoration of Jenna Fox. And I think what they said was that this book did what Mara Dyer was trying to do, but better. I really hope that's true because I kind of liked the potential of Mara Dyer and it just didn't hit for me. So maybe this will. I'm kind of excited, especially to compare the two and see if there really is a comparison to draw. Oh, and this book was $1.78. The next book that I got is going to excite some of y'all. I got The Lightning Thief, the first book in the Percy Jackson series. If you happen to have watched my, my life in books video. I mentioned that I have the second book in the Percy Jackson series and that I had accidentally read it when I was younger thinking it was the first one and I put it down and I didn't continue with the Percy Jackson series because I thought the pacing was off which um of course it would be considering I started with the second book but I have the first one now so to all of my friends who have been telling me that I need to read the Percy Jackson series this is the sign that it is absolutely gonna happen eventually. It's here and this was three dollars and fifty cents. She's a little She's a little beat up, but the only other copies of The Lightning Thief were the movie editions and over my dead body am I going to spend money on the movie editions of it. The next book that I got was My Lady Jane, which is a hardcover edition for $3. I was a little conflicted about buying this one because it's on Hoopla so I can read it for free without even having to put it on hold, but I did really like The Afterlife of Holly Chase, which is also written by Cynthia Hand. Did I say that this book is only written by Cynthia Hand? It's written by multiple people. I'm sorry. I really liked that other book that was written by her and I've heard a lot of good things about this series, so for $3 dollars for a hardcover edition with deckled edges which i love i'm willing to risk it the last book that i got was the nightingale by Kristen Hanna. it was two dollars and 59 cents i don't have much to say about it besides the fact that i've heard a lot of people say good things about it and it's a hardcover book for two dollars and 59 cents so why not i feel reasonably confident that i'll like it i like historical fiction a lot that's exciting so i'm actually gonna go home now and what my original plan was was to take down the decorations on my christmas tree and just take down my christmas tree because it's past time so it would have been a kind of a reverse christmas in february vlog but i have an idea it may or may not work out so we're gonna see and i'm gonna switch over to voiceover mode because my boyfriend is working right now he has meetings throughout the day it would just be an inconvenience and just kind of inconsiderate of me to record and be narrating something i'm gonna switch over to voiceover if i feel like there's something i need to say i'm having a great day so far so funnily enough for this christmas in february vlog i did actually have a present to unwrap my best friend sent me this gift and i actually opened it when the package arrived in december but i decided to wrap it up and stick it under the christmas tree so i could get double serotonin by opening it again on christmas day clearly that didn't happen things got in the way and because i already knew what it was i just never opened it perfect for this video though and now it's time for the tree As you can see, I am taking down some of the ornaments. Comment below if you can guess what I'm planning to do here.
If you guessed decorating the tree for Valentine's Day, you were right. I saw someone have a Valentine's tree in the back of some TikTok video and well, I happen to have a couple garlands of felt hearts, so why not give it a shot? I actually got these garlands while I was editor in chief of a magazine at my college. We did a lot of events, one of which was for Valentine's Day, and I accidentally ended up bringing these hearts when I moved instead of giving them to the next EIC. If anyone from my old magazine is watching, whoops, I am sorry. I honestly wasn't sure if this would turn out good, but I'm not mad about it. I think she's cute, so I guess my tree can stay up for another week. And anyone who has been making fun of me for keeping my Christmas tree up well into February, go on ahead, cause she's cute and I love her. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Filming it really put me in a good mood, so hopefully I passed on some of that cheer. If you enjoy my presence even a little bit, make sure to subscribe to my channel and comment below your favorite holiday. It would make my day even better. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>